Hello gamers and other motherfuckers. Today we will have my first Unishid review about your worst nightmare at Lotius. Of course we are talking about the Matilda Mark II or otherwise known as Desert Queen. This piece of shit will make you want to enter a crusade for king and country. This thing is a box with a fucking gun in it. This piece of shit was made because the tea drinking bastards needed a small tank to shoot infantry, but it had to be armored to oblivion because fucking reasons. Let's first talk about the armor. This chungus of a vehicle has the best armor of all of the vehicles at its BR. And the armor thickness is 75mm basically anywhere on the front, and a load of plates on the sides. These plates make it really hard to penetrate it because fragmentation. The turret is also basically anywhere 70 to 75 millimeters, because they wanted to make this vehicle slower than a fucking snail. No! So if you angle this tank 40 degrees, it will be near impossible to kill this beast. It has some big weak spots though. Like the turret ring which is the biggest, it has thin armor, and is just as big as the ego of the Germans, which is as big as the third fucking Reich. So the survivability is pretty decent to good, but if a shot penetrates there is a big chance you will die from the first round, and especially if it has HE filler. Now I don't have to say anything about the mobility, because it is fucking awful. It is worse than Squire without his morning tea. You can be happy if you reach its top speed of 24 km per hour. You will always be the last one to enter the battle except if you are being pushed by your entire fucking team. And the cannon. Is it good? Well yes and no. It has the reload rate of a minigun, but it is the smallest cannon mounted on a tank that the British have in this game, which is the 2 pounder gun. But because this is a British tank, you will only have solid shots that will make you want to kill yourself because they don't know what actual damage is. Luckily this is at low tiers, so it will be less hard than at higher tiers. It has pretty decent penetration, being 61mm pen at 500m with stock ammo, and 64 with the researchable ammo. You can see there is a difference, the stock shot has more pen at close range, and the researchable shot has more pen at longer ranges. So you do need to watch out, because you can penetrate most tanks frontally, but, if they are angled you are gonna have a bad time. Take about 20 to 30 rounds of both of the shots, because the reload speed is 3.6 seconds stock, that is hella fast, and you won't always penetrate everything, so the reload and rounds will help with this. Let's talk about its BR. The dipshit is at BR 2.7 where it is a bloody good tank. If you get up tiered you will face long barrel 75s that are going to give you a bad time. So don't get up tiered, don't choose any tank above 2.7. And if you get down to it, you will be a beast. You can destroy everything, and they can't destroy you. That is also the footage in the video. But normally you will be at 2.7 or a bit higher or lower. But most of the people of that tier are new players, so they will be stupid, and won't know where to shoot your tank. You will stay alive a long time because of this. Your biggest enemy at 1.7 would be the 75mm American gun truck. And at 2.7 it will be the 75mm heat firing slingshot. Oh yeah. Don't forget the lawnmower with the gun strapped to it. It can show what true slav is for you if it wants. Because sneaky breaky. These vehicles can and will pen you. Not everywhere and especially not everywhere. If you are wrangled but they can. But like I said. This is at a low BR. So you will see a lot of stupid people. That don't know where to shoot you. Take advantage of that. And face fuck them with your gun and kill them, before they know where to shoot, with the modifications now. Start off with parts and FPE, then do the entire mobility line, and only after that, you go for the shot mark too. Well this was it, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, and click those other buttons too if you want. Enjoy the footage.